Hi guys, Aris Hardware Busters. In this video, I will evaluate one of the most popular fans uh, usually used for chassis cooling, the Arctic P12 PWM PST. Despite uh, the PWM control, the decent claim performance and the fluid dynamic wearing, this product has a below $10 price. And uh, the 5-pack costs $30 giving a super tough time to the competition that can cost double or triple as much. The craziest part is that Arctic offers a six-year warranty even longer than fans costing three times more. Arctic's people must be super confident about this product and don't have a problem stating that you can use it at up to 40 degrees Celsius which is the upper limit for most FTB fans. The model I have in my hands has a cable splitter, meaning that you can daisy chain several fans together, uh, but the distance uh, up to the connector is increased so that cable management won't be as easy. The fan speed is PWM controlled from 200 up to 1800 RPM, according to Arctic, and there is also zero RPM mode activated once you go 5% or lower PWM. The box, I have the 5-pack uh, box here. Don't expect a fancy box. The cost for fancy packaging is increased. Uh, I don't, personally, I don't mind the plain box, but I wanted to provide more protection to its internals. Okay, fans are tougher than most IT parts, but they can still break in hard shipping conditions. The bundle includes only the required screws for chassis mounting besides the fans. There are no rubber mounts on the corners for reduced vibrations, but Arctic states that vibrations are minimized thanks to the motor's design and operation, so rubber mounts are not required. Less vibrations means less friction, so lower operating temperatures. This means uh, lower stress for the fan, so its lifetime gets increased. Arctic provides a scheme of the bearing. Uh, if this scheme is accurate, the bearing looks to be of rifle type instead of loop dynamic. But uh, you should keep in mind that rifle bearing is way better still than a plain slip bearing. Test methodology. I use a fan performance measurement apparatus to evaluate cooling fans. This is a highly sophisticated and super expensive scientific instrument made in Taiwan by Longwin. Besides the Longwin machine, I also use a Hemian echoic chamber and a highly sophisticated and super expensive noise analyzer by Bruel and Kerr. Performance. Airflow is high enough, but static pressure is not as much. The power consumption is low, proving that the motor indeed is highly efficient as Arctic states. The three fans with lower power consumption have notably lower maximum rotation speeds. Output noise at full and 70 of maximum speed. The fans uh, noise stays low in both cases. And let's see some frequency plots. Uh, the dominant frequencies are from 400 to 800 Hz. At full speed, the 5 kHz noise uh, is the second highest, and uh, the highest is actually above 16 kHz, which doesn't matter much because most people cannot hear such high frequencies. I also performed uh, frequency analysis at 70% uh, speed because noise output was higher there at this level than at 75%. I found, uh, found out that at 70% speed, noise increases at 400 Hz. And some signal recordings here. Normalized noise tests at 25 decibels. If you want to check all normalized noise tests, you should do the review on hwbusters.com. I will only uh, give you here 25 decibels, noise normalized test. At this level, we have high airflow and static pressure. The fan does very well, especially if we take into account its bottom price. Advertised vice real performance. In this table, 
anything in red means bad news while the blue fonts are good. The claimed airflow and static pressure values are far away but still at very good levels given the product's price. In the noise output section, the brand states that this fan has a maximum output noise of only 0.3 shown, which means about 10.64 decibels. I believe they made a mistake here because on the product's official page, also Arctic says that uh, they tested the fan uh, with uh, some competitive offerings at 28 decibels. So it doesn't make any sense. When they claim only 0.3 shown and they say on the other hand that we tested at 28 decibels, probably they made something wrong there. What if I told you that there is a fan costing less than $10, actually $9, offering performance levels at low and moderate speeds that uh, put two or three times more expensive fans to shame? On top of that, uh, this Arctic uh, P12 cooling fan is supported with an extra long warranty and it remains quiet even at full speed. Yeah, Arctic is well known for its budget yet good performance products. Surely this uh, product is a clear example of that. Although it doesn't score top performance in raw uh, values, especially when compared to other way more expensive fans, it achieves very good results in the noise normalized test, which matters the most. Uh, it is impressive for me, and I believe for you too, to see a $9 fan scoring second in airflow at 25 decibels noise normalized test behind the super expensive Noctua NF812 that costs exactly 3.7 times more. And uh, the same Arctic cooling fan leaves behind the Corsair ML120 RGB Elite. Uh, while in static pressure at 25 decibels, again, it achieves third place, taking the lead from the Nocto mentioned uh, previously uh, fan, I should note that uh, another affordable fan, the Architec I. Kiras, Ajiras, I know, 12 HGB in the same test achieves very good results and it's very close to the P12 active cooling fan, so it is worth noticing also this specific fan from Rachintec. Bottom line, you don't need to spend a fortune if you need a fan that remains below 30 decibels, even at full speed, and you are not after raw performance, which uh, usually comes at very high noise levels. If you care mostly for performance at low and medium speed where noise output is low, you should look at this fan, the Arctic P12 PWM PST. It is a very good choice, $9 each or $30 the 5-pack, uh, PWM control, low noise output, uh, six years warranty, which is fine. I find crazy in a product of this price range. And if you want to check all alternative fan offerings, read my best cooling fans article uh, on hwbusters.com before investing in new cooling solutions. Uh, you help me a lot, guys, by using my affiliate links, which don't increase the product price. I get a commission uh, from Amazon every time you buy something through my links, which can make a difference for me, especially now that I am on my own media empire. Uh, the long wind machine, yeah, that was very expensive. I don't expect ever, ever be able to cover this cost uh, through reviews, but I was able to buy it. It gives me the opportunity to find out the best uh, cooling fans out there and share that information with you guys. So. Discord server, if you want to come in direct contact with us, uh, subscribing to our channel helps us uh, a lot. If you want to read the full review, hwbusters.com and uh, Patreon page if you want to support us. Until the next video, bye-bye.